going to see in this video is how to add a title to our document. And what LaTeX needs to create a title is all of the necessary information for a title and it then needs to see the instruction to go ahead and make the title. A title for a formal paper consists not just of the basic text heading which we typically call a title but also a list of authors and a date. So LaTeX expects to see those three pieces of information before it goes ahead and creates a title. Now as you can see I've already set up, I've already started Tech Studio here and I've opened up the file first.tech that I created last time and I'm going to add a title to this document. So what I type first is the text heading and I'll call this doc um, have the text heading be a simple LaTeX document. So how I do that is I type backslash title and then in braces I put what I want the text heading to be. So a simple LaTeX document. Now if you wanted a different text heading you would type something different in between the braces but what you would have to type is backslash title and you would have to place your heading within the braces. Now for the author I type backslash author and then inside the braces I type the names of the author or authors. If it's just me writing the document I would just type in my name If there was more than one author, I would list all the names and separate each person with a backslash and. So suppose it's both Professor Bodine and I who've written this document. Then I would go into the LaTeX command, type in Professor Bodine's name, then type a backslash and and follow it with my name. Now I've put Professor Bodine first, not just for politeness, but also because in mathematics we have the tradition of listing the authors alphabetically, and alphabetically Professor Bodine comes before my name. So that's the authors um, entered in, and the next thing to enter in is the date. So I type date, backslash date and then inside the braces I type in the date that I want. Now there I've typed in the date directly and that date will then be fixed. But as you're working on a paper and editing it and redrafting it and so on you often need to change the date and so a useful command to use, instead of typing the date literally, if you type the command backslash today, then LaTeX will type in today's date automatically for you. So the date keeps, uh, keeps itself up to date as you're making changes to your paper. If you really don't want the date to appear in the title, then you would have to type backslash date and then open and close braces with nothing inside. But I'll keep it as today's date. So that's all the information that LaTeX needs to create the title, but it won't create the title until we instruct it to do so. So I now type the command make title. Okay. So now my document is ready. I will save it, just to make sure I have all the edits saved. And then I'm going to pass these instructions on to LaTeX and have it create a PDF for me. So I click the PDF LaTeX button 
and wait for LaTeX to read it and process the file and create a document for me. So what I'm waiting to see is that little message at the bottom which says exited normally down here. And now when I see that I know that I can view the document. If I want to view the final document I click on the PDF viewer and wait for it to come up and there's my document with the title and today's date written in.